I'm Lucinda Rhodes, and about 12 months ago, I had the pleasure of spending time with Ross Weir, Managing Director of H.J. Weir, the world's leading manufacturer of flat work, preparation, feeding, ironing, folding, and stacking solutions for commercial and industrial laundries globally. Last time, we were treated to a tour of the H.J. Weir manufacturing facilities in Chepstow. If you missed that film, please check out the details below or visit the website www.hjweir.co.uk. Let's go see Ross. Hello, how are you? You alright? <laughs> so what's in store today? So I've got something really special planned for today. Uh, we're going to go off now and we're going to have a good chat about where we've come in the last 12 months and where we're going forward. And where are we going to do this interview? We'll see when we get there. Come on. Great. <laughs> Ross, what a fantastic location for our interview today. So, the company has progressed over the last 12 months. Can you expand on that for me? The company's had um, an absolutely fantastic year. Uh, it's been one of the best years on record. Um, we've grown markets in the UK by 15%. We've grown markets Asia Pacific by 48%. We've brought new products on board. We've increased our staff numbers. Everything has just been absolutely fantastic. And now going into the start of our new financial year, the order book as we stand here now is it's probably the strongest position I've seen it in five years maybe. You said you've grown 15% in the UK market. Tell me about that. So we've certainly seen growth in our relationships with our independent laundries. Uh, so we've built some great relationships with some new customers and also maintained some great relationships with existing customers. We've also seen growth uh, through the government bodies, so the National Health Service. We've had one of our busiest years ever with them. Uh, we've got contracts with the prison service, so really we're seeing growth through all the market. So now I've heard about the last 12 months, now let's talk about the future. In the last film, we went to your favourite area, research and development. So how are these products done over the last 12 months? Very well. So as a, anything in research and development, some things work, some things don't. Most of it worked, thankfully. Um, we've had great success with the new software been very well received with our customers with the extra features within the, the touchscreen control. Um, we've developed new machines so we actually launched this year a new uh, blanket folder specifically designed for airlines and hospital laundries. Um, we installed one into a customer actually here in London just outside London and they've ordered uh, six more since then uh, and they've been installed and running so um, yeah so we continue to push on we've got more ideas coming forward uh, one thing we'll show is the RFID technology for our um, operators to log into machines. So again, we just continue to drive the R&D side of the business and it seems to be working well. Everything sounds wonderful and you're progressing in an amazing way. Now tell me, for the new year, what's new? What are you developing now? So we've got a new feeder in development. Um, it's in building test now and it's going to be called the VacFeed Pulse. So it's a base on the VacFeed low line, but with a lot more advanced options and that includes um, adjustable load height stations, retractable nose. Um, we've got away from the buttons on the front of the machine and replaced it with a HMI on each load station. Um, we've also got RFID technology for the operators to log in and their individual performance be monitored. So, like I said, it, it, it's based on the backfeed low line. It's going to be called the Pulse, but it's, it's a bit of a game changer, we think. So you're excited? Very excited. Um, we also continue to um, build our relationship with Larco with regards to ironers. Um, that's been hugely successful in the UK over the last 12 months. I'd like to speak about social media marketing and all those digital platforms. Now, HJ Weir is a huge company. How are you marketing and pushing your brand further? Well, as we mentioned, I mean, social media is such an important aspect of business these days and, and especially um, overseas businesses trying to build that bridge between the customer and the company. Um, so we obviously have the usual Facebook and Twitter accounts but we've invested heavily in individual product videos which we think are, you know, they work really well, probably better than brochures. But then saying that we have had all of our brochures redone, um, we've spent money on having the website completely redone, we use it as our shop window to our global customers so that they can see the product range we have, they can view the videos online, they can download the brochures, um, and it's just really, it's, it's working really well for us. Ross, why are you focusing heavily on product videos rather than brochures or any paperwork? Well, I think I, there's still a place for brochures, but I feel that the customers, when they're interested in a product, in, in, in particular our machinery, 
they want to see that machine, they want to understand it, they want to see it operating, um, and, and you can't get that message across rightly in a brochure. So we felt that investing heavily in videos, it, it almost gives the customer the ability to be in front of the machine without maybe having the expense or the time of traveling to come and see one in operation. The feedback we're getting from the videos is, is, is very positive. People like it. Well, we're coming to the end of our rotation and what a fantastic location it's been. We actually have touched briefly on Larco and also social media. Why don't we grab some lunch and talk about it further? Yeah, we've touched base on a lot of topics in, in minor detail, but there's certainly a lot more I'd like to talk about. Um, so should we go grab some lunch and have a chat? That'd be lovely. <laughs> well, thank you for lunch, Ross. My pleasure. Now, I say we get straight back to business and I will ask you why you decided to partner with Larco? I think Larco was a, a natural partnership for HJ Weir. They've got a great range of ironers, um, obviously something that we didn't have, and uh, so th that was the real reason why we decided to partner with them. I think for the fact that they're a family business, the same as us, so I guess in some ways Dominic Lepau is, is to iron in what my grandfather was to, to feed and fold in. So it was just a natural teamwork, really, between both parties. How successful has the relationship been? Well, it's still a fairly new relationship. I mean, we're, you know, we're just coming into 12 months now. We installed the first Larco ironer into a, a laundry just outside Heathrow in May. And as we're sat here today, we've got four more on order, confirmed, ready to go into UK laundries. And that includes the National Health Service and several laundries here in, in the nation's capital. And is this a reciprocal relationship? Yeah, so Larco have a very uh, small range of, of feeding and folding, but on a very basic level. Um, so the ability that they can offer their distributors around the world our full range of feeding and folding with the ironer. Um, yeah, so the business works both ways. So you talk about the range of ironers. What is that range? Well, Larco historically have always produced very, very small ironers, uh, more for the OPL market. Um, but over the last few years, they've obviously started producing what we would determine the industrial range of ironers. Um, so that's 800 diameter up to 1200 diameter, varying widths, multi-roll. Um, I think one of the unique products they have is, is what they refer to as the King. Uh, so that's a single roll 800 ironer, but with much greater surface contact than, than anything else on the market. You've spoken about um, industrial. Now, what is the difference between commercial and industrial? The way we look at the difference between commercial and industrial is, is generally a commercial laundry wouldn't have a multi-roll or a pass-through ironer, it would generally be a return feed ironer. So when I go back to the King ironer, it's an industrial scale ironer, but of a commercial footprint, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so it's, it, it's a great bridge for customers between commercial and industrial, taking that step forward. So Ross, you mentioned you're more industrial. Now, how do you plan to market and capitalise on the commercial sector? Well, this is one of the things that I mentioned in the eye, which is so important about the PR and the marketing of the business in terms of social media and such aspects. So we've got somebody on board with us now um, who's really going to specialise in, in, you know, the social media. So your Facebooks, your Twitters and, and utilising the product videos we've done and the websites and the brochures to really push that information out to the commercial sector to let them know that HJ Weir has the right solution that they're probably looking for. Well, thank you for the interview. It's always a pleasure spending time with you and I look forward to seeing you again in 12 months to catch up. Perfect. Thank you. Ron. So, that draws a close on our time with Ross and HJ Weir's continuing journey. A positive period of growth, capitalising on every opportunity that presents itself. Until next time, thanks for watching. For further information, please visit our website at www.hjweir.co.uk or alternatively, contact our specialist sales team in the United Kingdom on 01291 622 036 or via email sales at hjweir.co.uk.